What's going on guys, JT's the latest Mustang and automotive news. This is my 2021 Mustang Mach 1 with a handling package. Today we're gonna to talk about a few things that have gone wrong with it. There's actually two serious things that are wrong with it at the moment. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what's wrong with the car, how I plan to fix it, and let's just take a look at it. First, let's do a cold start. guys so first things first there's a big problem with the body panel alignment issues and let's just look at it it's essentially there's body damage and when I open the door the fender hits the door the door hits the fender me and my buddy looked at it He's a body guy and he's like, let's get a jack and a flathead screwdriver and let's adjust the body panel and da da da. And I'm just gonna let Ford do it. It's still under warranty. So I think it's the fender that needs to be removed. Also, there's a suspension, um, something going on with that. I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but let's look at the door first. If you notice how tight this door is to this fender essentially touching. Did you hear that? So it's binding the door. You can see that there's paint missing on the door, right? I'm not tripping. You guys can see that, right? So That's one major thing. Let's pop the hood and talk about the other major thing. So on deceleration, the passenger front strut is making a noise. It could be the wheel. I think it's the strut, but Let's just look at it with our hands and see with our eyeballs and hands. I mean, this is the first time I've literally opened, but I am getting a clunking noise and I don't know if it's a failure of the strut or if something's physically loose. So I'm just going to take it in and let them check it out. Uh, they did an oil change on it last. So hopefully they didn't screw something up with the oil change because I never noticed the body panel alignment rubbing or that clunking noise. Hopefully they didn't run it over skunk. So that's all that's going on with the car today. Essentially this body panel is rubbing. Oh, and I had a nail in my tire and I plugged it and it didn't fix the, the hole. So it's just a very, very, very slow leak. So I do have a plug. So I feel kind of like this car's falling apart. I've got a door that's rubbing when you open it. And I've also got a tire that's leaking and a front strut that's making a noise. So that's a bit stressful. But other than that, I'm really, really enjoying the car. If you haven't driven a Mach 1 with a handling package, you have to go drive it. It drives like a 350R or 500 with the uh, handling. It probably drives better than a 500 because it's lighter. It doesn't have that supercharger on the front end. It's like, yeah, at least 150 pounds lighter, I believe, this car is. So, all in all, I still really enjoy driving the car, and I love it. But everybody on the forum says that it's very common for the body alignment issues. Another thing, I forgot to talk about this. See on this side, how there's a trim piece? They forgot to install that on the passing on the driver's side. So I have, I just ordered that piece myself. 
and I actually had to install these myself. These were out of state. These were located out of state. I contacted the Ford dealer where someone originally purchased the vehicle and the parts department mailed them to me. So it's very common if you buy a handling package car for the wicker splitter or whatever this thing is called and the front splitter and the fender trims to not even be on the car. This piece specifically, the lower trim piece, a lot of times won't even, um, they'll be at the Ford parts department and they're gonna have to mail it to you. So like I said, I installed that myself and Ford is supposed to do that. So I'm gonna let them fix the, the strut and the binding of the panels and then we'll go from there so it's very common though so check out if you just order your mach 1 check it out it's going to have some things wrong with it probably either body alignment the panels are not going to be aligned you're going to either have a missing fender trim or they didn't install these pieces you're going to have to call ford performance to get those fixed and um, just kind of normal things that that you'll notice but other than that the car has been pretty pretty awesome i mean i can just take it in they'll check out that strut they may or may not find anything wrong with it um, and then they'll just realign the door or I can just leave it like that and just let it rub the paints already missing but see the thing is I don't want them to paint the door or really I can just use some touch-up paint so um, just have a couple of rock chips but all in all pretty pretty amazing car and I really enjoy driving it so like I said go drive one I think you'll love it stay tuned for the latest Mustang and automotive news I'll catch you in the next video.